In the vast silence of space, even the smallest change can rewrite everything we think we know. Two nights ago, something happened that sent shockwaves through every major observatory on Earth. The interstellar object known as 3I Atlas, a mysterious traveler from beyond our solar system, suddenly brightened, not gradually, but explosively. In just six minutes, its luminosity jumped by a factor of four, a flash so fast and precise that amateur telescopes across continents caught it at the exact same moment. Mars orbiters burned fuel to reposition, the deep space network abandoned ongoing missions, and the International Astronomical Union called an emergency session, the first in years. Scientists who once shared data freely suddenly went silent. Whatever was happening out there wasn't just another cometary outburst. It was something no one could explain, and it was happening right now. It began quietly, as all revolutions do. In a small town in Germany, amateur astronomer Maria Schultz noticed something off in her data while observing 3I Atlas through her 12-inch telescope. Her software flagged an anomaly, a sudden vertical leap in brightness, 1.4 magnitudes higher than before, sustained for six full minutes. At first, she assumed it was a glitch, but when she checked her calibration stars, her equipment, and even atmospheric data, everything was perfect. Within 30 minutes, observers in New Zealand, Arizona, and Brazil began posting identical results. The light curve was impossible. Not sinusoidal, not periodic, just a flat line that suddenly jumped like a heartbeat and then held steady. No comet, asteroid, or fragment had ever behaved this way. By comparison, the legendary outburst of Comet 17P slash Holmes in 2007 took nearly two days to brighten by a similar magnitude. What Schultz saw happened in less than 1% of that time. By midnight, the hashtag Atlas Anomaly was trending worldwide, and within hours, the global astronomy community was awake, staring at the same question. What could possibly cause such a clean, instantaneous burst of light? As word spread, a chain reaction swept across the globe. Forums and Discord servers filled with overlapping screenshots, exposure logs, and light curves all matching down to the minute. Citizen science platforms like Skywatch Collective went into overdrive, confirming the anomaly across four continents. It wasn't a hoax, nor an equipment malfunction. By dawn in Europe, professional observatories were on alert. The PanStars and Atlas survey telescopes confirmed the spike, as did robotic telescopes operated in Chile and Japan. Data streamed into a growing public repository, a digital relay of humanity's curiosity. But then something strange happened. The professionals took over. The Deep Space Network interrupted routine Mars telemetry, rerouting its 70-meter dishes toward the coordinates of 3I Atlas. Engineers voted unanimously to override standard scheduling, sacrificing data from missions like Perseverance and Voyager to capture radar reflections from a single interstellar visitor. The decision cost them 22 hours of lost mission time, a move reserved only for life-threatening asteroid flybys. Yet this wasn't an impact threat. It was a light anomaly. And still, the world's most powerful antennas turned their gaze toward one point in the sky, as if every nation sensed that something extraordinary was unfolding above. The global coordination didn't stop there. By the following morning, the Very Large Telescope in Chile, Gemini North in Hawaii, and even China's Fast Radio Telescope had all dropped their planned targets, redirecting every instrument to 3I Atlas. The International Astronomical Union voted 8 to 2 in favor of a planetary-scale observing campaign, a rare act of unity in a field often divided by funding and competition. For 48 hours, humanity's finest instruments watched the same object. And then, silence. The same astronomers who had been posting hourly updates on social media suddenly disappeared. Private research chats went quiet. No new data appeared on preprint servers. No press statements, no leaks, nothing. Analysts tracking social media activity reported a 70% drop in communication from verified astronomers who had previously discussed the event. Something had changed behind closed doors. Even the few automated logs that trickled out painted an eerie picture. Radar signals showing a non-gravitational acceleration four times stronger than expected, an infrared plateau 30 Kelvin above normal, and faint bursts of gamma radiation at 3I Atlas's exact coordinates. 
None of it made sense, and yet all of it was real. Within two days, the anomaly had transformed into a full-scale mystery. The Mars orbiters confirmed the same infrared excess, despite being millions of kilometers away. Ground-based telescopes recorded the same acceleration, and deep space antennas detected faint echoes that seemed to pulse at regular intervals. But the most haunting detail wasn't in the data, it was in the reaction. Astronomers who had spent their careers chasing comets and asteroids now refused interviews. Entire observatories were locked into silent mode, citing data verification. The IAU's internal report, leaked by an anonymous insider, described the situation as a synchronized global anomaly requiring immediate containment. No other words, no public explanation. Just a note that all assets are to maintain continuous observation until further notice. For the first time in modern history, every eye on Earth was focused on one object from another star system, an object that, in a matter of hours, had forced humanity to rewrite its definition of what's natural and what's not. Then came the discovery that changed everything. Using differential imaging from the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers noticed a secondary object, smaller, colder, and perfectly aligned with 3 eye atlases trajectory. At first, they thought it was a fragment or a dust cloud. But over successive scans, the secondary body maintained a fixed distance of 120 kilometers and moved in precise synchronization with the primary object. It wasn't drifting, it was orbiting. The discovery sent shockwaves through the IAU's emergency channel. A natural object with a companion that close would be gravitationally unstable, yet this pair moved flawlessly, locked together as if bound by invisible control. Even more baffling was the secondary body's spectral signature. It reflected almost no sunlight but emitted faint microwave radiation consistent with active heat dissipation. In other words, it was regulating its temperature. By now, most astronomers had stopped using the term comet. The official designation changed quietly from 3I Atlas C 2025R2 to 3I Atlas Complex. The word complex was no mistake. It was a silent admission that the object was more than one thing, and possibly more than just matter. Everything came to a head when 3I Atlas reached a position known as nodal alignment, the point where its orbital plane intersected Earth's. At that moment, every telescope, radio dish, and orbital observatory trained on it simultaneously registered a surge in intensity. The pulse frequency increased, the secondary companion brightened, and the region surrounding both objects filled with a faint halo visible even to amateur astronomers. It wasn't sunlight. It was internal luminescence, energy being released from within the structure itself. The James Webb Telescope recorded diffraction spikes consistent with geometric edges, not random debris. The object was unfolding. Spectrographic analysis showed a temperature drop of 60 Kelvin, suggesting that energy was being redirected inward. And then, the impossible happened. For the first time, 3I Atlas emitted a directed radio beam, focused and narrow, aimed precisely at Earth's ecliptic coordinates. The signal was brief, only 12 seconds long. But it wasn't noise. It carried structure, patterns, and harmonic symmetry far beyond any natural process. Within minutes, the transmission stopped. The light dimmed. The pulse vanished. 3i Atlas went silent once more, leaving behind one haunting question echoing across every observatory. Who was listening on the other side? For days, the world waited for an explanation. The directed beam from 3i Atlas had lasted only 12 seconds, but its echoes were still being analyzed by observatories across the planet. Then, quietly, one team broke the silence, the Square Kilometer Array Observatory in Australia. Using its massive radio network, they reconstructed the full waveform of the transmission, expecting it to reveal nothing more than background radiation. Instead, what they found stunned them. The beam wasn't random. It contained a harmonic structure built around the same 247-second pulse that had haunted astronomers for months. Embedded within that pattern were frequency ratios identical to those found in hydrogen spectral lines, the universal constant of communication. Hydrogen is everywhere, the cosmic alphabet of existence. Whoever or whatever generated that signal had chosen the one frequency every civilization capable of science would understand. 
But the real shock came when the data was translated into visual form. The waveform, when converted into a spectrogram, revealed a repeating geometric pattern. Six perfect hexagons spiraling outward around a single point of light. It was a mirror image of the James Webb Telescope's final images of the Three-Eye Atlas complex, the object and its companion locked together in formation. The transmission wasn't just a signal, it was a blueprint. And that blueprint, when rendered in three-dimensional mapping, corresponded almost perfectly to the orbital architecture of our own solar system. Each hexagon represented an orbital resonance point, a harmonic alignment between planets, with one glaring difference. At the center wasn't the sun, it was empty, a void precisely positioned where Three-Eye Atlas now drifted. Scientists were divided. Some said it was coincidence, an interstellar echo that our pattern-hungry minds turned into meaning. Others, like Harvard's Avi Loeb, called it something else, a synchronization event. According to his paper, the signal's purpose wasn't to communicate in the traditional sense. It was to tune something, a calibration sequence between the object and the solar system itself as though it had locked onto our gravitational rhythm and adjusted accordingly. Loeb compared it to a musician tuning an instrument before playing. If that's true, then the 12-second signal wasn't the message. It was the test tone before the real transmission. Then, another revelation hit. As the data spread across institutions, analysts noticed that Earth's own magnetic field had fluctuated precisely 12 seconds after the beam ended. The same pulse, the same interval, echoed through our atmosphere, briefly altering the ionospheric resonance, the Schumann frequency, by 0.02 hertz. To most, it was meaningless. But to those studying the event, it was confirmation that the transmission had interacted with Earth directly. For a fleeting moment, 3i Atlas had reached across 300 million kilometers of space and touched the planet. The official statements were predictable. Instrumental errors, solar interference, data reclassification. But behind closed doors, Project Helios, a task force formed by the International Asteroid Warning Network, concluded something that was never made public. The directed beam wasn't a random transmission. It was a response. When the first amateur telescopes detected the brightness anomaly weeks earlier, Earth had unknowingly emitted its own faint electromagnetic noise back into the cosmos. The flare from thousands of synchronized instruments, cell towers, satellites, radar beams, had bounced off the object. 3i Atlas hadn't simply appeared brighter. It had been illuminating us back. And now, silence. No pulse, no gamma spikes, no acceleration. The interstellar traveler drifts beyond Mars, silent and watchful, the data classified, the world moved on. But among the astronomers who first saw the 247 second rhythm, one question remains. What happens when that frequency returns? What if the next signal isn't light, but something else? Because maybe 3i Atlas never came to visit. Maybe it came to synchronize. So if this story made you question what's really happening out there, don't look away. Subscribe to this channel. We uncover what the rest of the world is too afraid to discuss. Turn on notifications, because when the signal returns, and it will return, you'll want to be here to hear it.